Okay, and I'll, I am going to revert uh, to the snapshot RC8. All right, this time we are going to use uh, so another tool that's called Rexha, you know, to do a uh, diffing. Uh, let's see, let's start from RC8. Okay, and please go to malware class tools and you see there is a v5 underscore reksha malware class tools v5 reksha okay and do you see this icon reksha and please uh, execute it and when you see the right side, you will see the first shot, right? Let's uh, click the button and select shot. Okay, and please leave it as it is. And so, yeah, please make the uh, first shot. Then using this uh, explorer, please go back to the samples directory. There are the malware classes. Right, and go to samples. I'm explaining slide 31, and please go to IM form and execute this malware again. Okay, then. Let's make the, the second shot and select shot. Then you will see the, the compare button being activated, right? So please uh, select compare. Now then you see this, the deep result basically. Right. Now there's a lot of a lot of entries, okay. And let's let's go back to the um, the questions on the twenty eight on slide twenty eight, and please check whether or not you can you know answer these questions based on the uh, this. Uh, Deep result. Good. Okay. All right. So let's answer the question again. That on the slide twenty-eight. Uh, before that, okay. Let's say compare uh, the on slide thirty-one. It says compare the current results with the previous last result. So. You know, you see much more information on the Rebusha uh, deep result, right? So, and Mary, I could find, you know, okay, this uh, IM worm is uh, changing a lot of settings of uh, your explorer and your internal explorer, right? So, basically, why the reason I want you to uh, use the Rebusha is, you know, if you only use the all runs, it's uh, basically not isolating your view of, you know, what's going on in the system. So, and RepShot actually give you uh, all the uh, changes that has been made in the registry key. Actually, not only that, it also it uh, you can do uh, like a, yeah. When you click this scan directory, it actually show you the difference between uh, the in the in the file system. But when I actually run, I didn't check this one because. I wanted to have it as a by default. So when you actually do the analysis, then you can you know, make some changes you know, on the tool as well. So how about, can you, could you able, uh, could you see the uh, uh, answer, could you see the result that related to the, uh, the first, answer, uh, first question on slide 28? Like observe what files are created in which directories. Could you see? You couldn't, right? Because I didn't ask you to select, you know, what's going on on that directory. 
right? So by default, actually, rank chart does not enable this one. But if you have you know, click this one, then you probably are able to see the uh, the MS config .exe being created on the startup directory, right? But so it is okay. But I just want you to see there is a that option in the rank chart tool. Then how about observe what registry keys are created or modified. How about that question? Were you able to see the, uh, the registry key has been changed in order to be persist? Okay, I see that I'm not in here, so I'm gonna go uh, to, uh, to the answer directly. Okay, I'm going to uh, just list here. See, as you see, this is a before the one line above. It was a, has only explored that you see, but after the I I am more in fact uh, infected the uh, VM. Now you see this Windows system as such that you see has been added, right? And how about the one underneath? Again, there's a win logo, log one, user init. There was a, only one entry, user init.exe, but the next line is uh, actually changed uh, by adding ss.exe to the uh, user init registry key. Okay, all right. And beyond that, I want to just walk through quick, quick, to share, right, you know, what else has been changed. I'm not going to all the details because I want to you know, only focus on the you know, uh, persistent uh, techniques. But uh, this IM one, like a change it, the, let's see, this one is uh, not a lot important, but there should be an entry that actually changing the uh, homepage of Internet Explorer. But you see, yeah, so you see it? Then there we go. All right, thank you. So you see here, it used to be uh, go Microsoft.com, but it changed it to the quicknews.info. So it just changed the uh, home, uh, start page of the Internet Explorer. And not only that, you see other like some changes. So by just looking at this more detailed information, you can you know see what this malware is doing. 